Since last Sunday's dreadful news, we have seen throughout Britain and around the world an overwhelming expression of sadness at Diana's death. We have all been trying in our different ways to cope. It is not easy to express a sense of loss, since the initial shock is often succeeded by a mixture of other feelings, disbelief, incomprehension, anger, and concern for those who remain. We have all felt those emotions in these last few days. So what I say to you now, as your queen and as a grandmother, I say from my heart. Heart. First, I want to say in what heart? It doesn't mean a word of this. That's not the point. What she's doing is extraordinary. In good times and bad, she never lost her That's how to survive. Listen to you. But a week ago, you were the great moderniser, making speeches about the people's princess. Now you've gone weak at the knees. You know, I don't know why I'm so surprised. At the end of the day, all Labour Prime Ministers go gaga for the Queen. will remember her. I, for one, believe that there are lessons to be drawn from her life and from the extraordinary and moving reaction to her death. I share in your determination to cherish her memory. I hope that tomorrow we can all, wherever we are, join in expressing our grief at Diana's loss and gratitude for her all too short life. May those who died rest in peace. And may we, each and every one of us, thank God for someone who made many, many people happy. <laughs>